So if I get a horse hurt, I will feel horrible about it. But I promise it won't be because I haven't tried. I guess saying furious just kind of caught me off guard. Hello farm friends. Good to be with you. It's a cold afternoon. We've had a lot of rain lately. Those of you that watch our channel are probably like, man, he says that often, which is crazy because for the since probably late June till now, we've had more rain in northern Arizona than we've had in a long time. But anyway, this horse behind me, he's super dirty, but I'm going to brush him off and I'm going to work him in the round pin for just a little bit. I think we found a home for Xander. I, I hope it works out because this family bought one of our horses before and they've made it into an amazing horse and given it a great home and so I'm excited that Xander may be headed their way. So come with me as I brush Xander off and then work him in the round pen for a little bit and then I want to tell you more about the Pony Express ride. A lot of you had some ideas and concerns. Prince Jack is over there making a bunch of noise. <laughs> Seems like they do that every time I'm out here. Some of you had some thoughts and concerns and criticisms and ideas. And anyway, I want to address some of those. Come with me as I get Xander just brushed off. So he's got a ton of mud on him right now. And I'll run him around the round pen just because the family that's wanting to maybe get him wanted to see how he moves. And then we'll go from there. Well, he's far from clean, but he's looking better. So let's let's work with him for a little bit. All right, boy. If I take pressure off, I want him to face me, not put his butt towards me. Okay, take some pressure off. Let's see if he's now. Nah. He hasn't turned his butt, but he. Let's see if I can, all right, good boy. At least when he turned directions, it was turning towards me, so. Anyway, he's a cool horse. He was so skinny when we got him and he had that big cut on his leg, which is all healed up now. There's still a little bit of hair that needs to grow over it but it's all healed up. I'll show you here when I stop. Anyway, oh boy, oh. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, 
Oh, come here. Oh. I just kind of wanted to see how he'd move. This is the first day we've moved him around the round pin. But he's a cool horse. I'm going to put the halter back on and I'll show you the injury that he had on his leg and how it's healed up. Well, he did pretty good. I mean, I just wanted to move him around a little bit. For the most part, he wants to turn in towards me instead of putting his butt towards me. Again, I wasn't about training him for a long time today. I just wanted to see some movement. And I'll show you that, that injury now. One thing I've learned through the years, and I mean, God forbid that, that it has to happen, but when a horse gets injured, it's amazing how that connection between you and the horse happens as you doctor them and take care of them. And uh, to me, it's kind of neat. Just sometimes it's when we're hurt and when we're injured that we learn to connect with God and realize that he really is the one that can give us relief and he's the one that can give us peace and he can help heal us. It's sad when an injury happens with a horse and it's something you never hope happens. But Xander's a different horse because we had to train or had to doctor him and take care of him when he had that injury but let's take a look at it so here it is now and it's all healed up there's no blood there's no open wound he moves fine on it he moves great he's just lacking a little bit of hair to finish covering that up but God is good and has created us and animals that we heal ourselves which is pretty crazy can you we need to see if ford or chevy can uh figure out how to create a truck that fixes itself <laughs> wouldn't that be nice so anyway so xander you're dirty but he's gentle he's beautiful and excited that he may be heading down by tucson arizona so let me uh, tell you a little bit more about the ride so I grabbed Duchess, and you can see she's muddy too. Everything's muddy right now. If they lay down at all, they get mud on them. So every time I've got to brush them off. I left Xander tied up for a few minutes while I saddle up Duchess. Most of you, a lot of you said, Alan, you should take candy on the ride, not Duchess, because they're built for endurance. They're bred for endurance. And I do realize that. I, I am aware that Arabians are bred for endurance riding. But I gotta tell you a little bit more about this ride. Some of you misunderstood. It is about a 200 mile ride over three days, but because it's a Pony Express, it's like a relay. And so I will run a, a mile, Blake will run a mile. My other teammate will run a mile. His two sons are riding. They will each run, run, run a mile. Anyway, there's 25 or more riders that will be involved in this ride. And so after 25 miles, we've all run just one mile. Then we start over again. So really, probably over the three days, I will not do more than eight miles. And so that, hopefully that makes you feel better. I'm not taking this little mare on a 200 mile ride that she will go on herself. She will do maybe six to nine legs of the, of the ride. And she is in good shape. I've been working hard with her. I'm getting in better shape, but still you may be wondering why not candy? Well, I may try candy, honestly. Uh, I may take her for one of the the miles we'll see but I've been working hard with Duchess to get her ready and this ride is along highways we will be on pavement or on asphalt there is snow on the road there will be vehicles and commotion I feel really comfortable with Duchess tomorrow even though I don't know when you'll see this but tomorrow I have a farrier coming out that's gonna put shoes on for the ride it's going to cost me $275 for the shoes 
for this ride. There will be a neoprene, I hope I said that right, but a cushion between the shoe and the hoof. So as we have to, to run on pavement, there's a, a cushion barrier. Also, there will be cleats on the shoes that will keep us from sliding. The last thing we want is to slide on asphalt. That would hurt me and Duchess. And not to mention, you don't want to slide out in front of a, a, a moving vehicle. Now don't worry, there are police officers that try to, to let people know what's going on. And so hopefully it will not be quite as scary as I'm making it sound, but to tell you the truth, I'm nervous. Um, there's a lot of preparation that's going into this. Um, there's a lot of money that I didn't realize when I first signed up, you know. It's $175 just to do the ride and be part of this experience, but then $275 for the shoes. There's outfits that they want us to wear to be part of, of the, the posse. And so there's, there, there's a lot of expense and time that's going into this. I, I would even, I wouldn't mind putting like some new, having a new pad or whatever, so that I don't have an old dusty, dirty, maybe damp pad going into it. So there's just a lot that I'm, I'm trying to get ready. And so anyway, if you want to be part of it, I'll be telling you more about the, the ride and what you can do, but you can check out our Amazon wish list. Maybe there's something you could get to help Duchess have a good experience and myself. Blake and Rawhide are also part of this experience. No one seemed to be concerned about Blake and Rawhide, which I don't blame you. Blake's young, Rawhide's been through a lot. And so Candy, we might try her out for a little bit of it, but I'm more confident or comfortable myself personally with Duchess. She has a very level head. She She's gonna do a good job and we've been working hard to get in shape. So. I'm going for another ride today, working on endurance for her and myself. But uh, first I gotta go brush her off because she's a dirty mess. Thanks again for your concern and your insights. And I hope you don't mind coming along and watching the experience. I did have one person that commented that saying, I can't believe you're taking Duchess. If she gets hurt, I'll be furious. And I thought, well, you know what? I will be super, super sad if she gets hurt also. Um, I love my horses and I don't want her to get hurt. And others were like, why not take a young, one of your young horses that would have more endurance. And again, you take a young horse out on a highway and it could be a wreck for me and the horse. Not to mention when you say a young horse has endurance, horses are different than people. A two-year-old like Gold 66, as beautiful as he is, he's not going to have the endurance that this older mare is going to have. She's about 18 years old, but there's been people go on these rides with 20 plus year old horses. Their bones are mature, they're, they're seasoned, they're smart. I take a two-year-old whose bones are not mature and who might um, freak out by the side of a highway and we may have a wreck that we would really regret. So if I get a horse hurt, I will feel horrible about it, but I promise it won't be because I haven't tried to have myself and the horse prepped and ready to go. So Duchess, let's go for a ride and uh, let's get you and I ready to go on this trip. Thanks for coming along and watching Xander and let me explain myself a little bit today. I guess saying furious just kind of caught me off guard. It's like if Blake would have been hurt really bad in football, I wouldn't have been furious at the coach or at the referee or at the opposing team because their field wasn't as level as it should have been. I would have been heartbroken. Um, and that's how I'll feel here. I'm going to do all in my power so the Duchess doesn't get hurt and I'm going to try to prepare myself so I don't get hurt. But any time in life that we take risks or, or do things that that'll be 
memorable and fun. There's there's risks involved, and animals and riders can get hurt. Um, but my prayer is that Duchess and I, and Blake and Rawhide, and the rest of the riders and their horses don't get hurt, and that we're good to go. So anyway, thanks again, and have a great day.